This video will show you feedback and comments of some of the attendees with samples of their recitation and correction. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Hilma Tajweed helping you read. Alhamdulillah, this Ramadan 2018, we had the opportunity to hold a taster course in Islamic Dawah Center, which is a masjid in Manor Park, East London. So armed with a projector, a laptop, and with the help of Brother Nukman, which you're going to see in the video, every Sunday during Ramadan, after Dhuhr Salah, we went and presented this course to the local attendees of the masjid. We made it very clear that due to the limited time and structure of this course, which is only going to be like a four day course over the whole of Ramadan, that after Ramadan, we would want to pursue a full course, starting from basic Maharaj course for those who need the help and moving on to, you know, more uh, intermediate and advanced level, inshallah. This video will show you feedback and comments of some of the attendees with the samples of their recitation and correction. I am also uploading a second video back to back, so check the link above and in the description below of the last day's full recitation and correction of all the surahs we've covered so far, which are the 10 lessons I've already uploaded onto YouTube from Surah An-Nas to Surah Al-Fil, okay? But stay to the end because I have some exciting news for an after Ramadan all year round project. My name is Hassan Abdullahi, I'm 13 years old and I'm studying with Ilma Tajweed at Islamic Dao Center. He's teaching us many Tajweed uh, rules that I might have not known or I might have made mistakes from. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Um, the structure was that we would take a surah and from that surah we take the main rules that are applied in that surah. For example, in Surah An-Nas we applied the Ghunna rule of two beats. Qul a'udhu bi nas Malikinas and in Surah Al Falak we applied the Qalqal rules. I think I understand it quite well and I think I may be able to use these rules when I read the Quran more. Inshallah, I want to be able to continue these kind of things because they teach me a lot and I will be able to learn from these things so I, when, I, when I read the Quran, I can be able to use these rules to help me understand the Quran more and its meaning more. That's good. A little longer. Because five elif, so in oh, in Artoina Kal Kosar. Well, or maybe they have a difficulty pronouncing them, they should be able to pronounce them well so they don't change the meaning of the Quran, or maybe they don't uh, have any mistakes in the Quran. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Arshad, I'm a working professional. Um, I've been here, uh, IDC for the program um, Heal My Tajweed. It was really beneficial and uh, I have been learning uh, past uh, whole Ramadan uh, every week. Uh, mashallah, the initiative is very good. Uh, really, I, I identified my mistakes and uh, I'm trying to cover my mistakes. I wish all the best for the Heal My Tajweed team. I think most of the people are not uh, giving uh, uh, interest on Tajweed, uh, literally from, uh, from the childhood. Uh, I think uh, from this initiative, uh, if you can make a better course for a, for a, for a whole two, three months, with a complete covering all the objectives, I think that will make uh, more beneficial for all the people. Um, I think uh, if you can um, have uh, recordings of audios and also the videos, because Tajweed is the one which actually the students should be listening to them what they do the mistakes. And if you can record the audios and give them back so that they can listen back and they can try to understand where they are doing the mistake. Back at home, they can revise themselves and they can improve it. 
Uh, literally, uh, my experience, uh, basically, we are the fundamentals. Actually, we are going wrong. Uh, especially, if I if I look, uh, if I if I if I say uh, most of the characters, uh, we don't know the makhraj, and uh, that is the the building block for uh, for uh, Arabic. So, if we are able to understand the early age, the makhraj, and uh, all the basic principles, I think uh, we we will be able to uh, recite Quran far much better way, inshallah. So, wa min shari gha si qin idha wa qad. So, qin, qaf, and qaf are the only heavy letters. I think um, uh, this is uh, good. Uh, at least an initiative is really good. Uh, what I would suggest is um, uh, when uh, uh, the students are lis uh, uh, looking at the projector or the screen, uh, if there is something sort of a color code along with some sort of a symbols and icons which makes easy for them to understand, uh, just like um, idfa or like you know, if there is a color color, if you can more visible from the visuals, then more they try to read and recite, then they will be able to catch up things much more faster. Inshallah. Barakallah fikum. Again, a'udhu billah. A'udhu billahi. That. Not that. A'udhu. A'udhu billahi min al-saytani al-razim. Shin. Shay. Shaytani al-razim. More. More emphasis. Shaytani al-razim. Shaytani al-razim. Shaytani al-razim. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Muhammad Irfam. So I'm an IT professional. So I come to Dawah Center and uh, they have introduced to this uh, Heal My Tajweed course, Alhamdulillah, for four weeks of Ramadan after Zohar. And personally, I felt it's very beneficial for me. Uh, reason being that uh, this this thing which I was uh, worrying for a lot a lot of time to uh, uh, get aware of, and when I try to explore, because I don't have much time uh, out of work to go personally and uh, uh, get the training, so. Uh, when I started exploring online, so uh, it was, uh, it appeared to me very difficult because there were so many rules and uh, things which were in place. But Alhamdulillah, with the introduction of this, uh, that has been brought down very simply within just few pages and uh, and it was very beneficial for me and also the way this was designed and structured, like each uh, rule was picked up and uh, uh, each surah was uh, explained uh, accordingly. Uh, the rules of uh, and also like uh, uh, it will be definitely beneficial for me going forward uh, with the simple booklet which they have designed and introduced alhamdulillah so look forward to uh, go ahead uh, inshallah after the ramzan if the team is planning so heal, heal my touch will definitely i recommend uh, and myself being a parent uh, and i have a daughter so i started uh, finding my own mistakes and inshallah after ramzan when i get a little better so I have uh, made a plan for my daughter to teach and take it ahead uh, because that way I will also identify my own mistakes and will be able to correct my daughter even. So Alhamdulillah that is a good initiative. Okay, so the rule for here in this Ramadan was the Lamb of Allah. Make it heavy. I mean uh, personally like I, uh, I, I come from a uh, subcontinent so we have a mixture of uh, Arabic and uh, Urdu so much of the alphabets like we read are uh, Arabic like uh, Swad as a uh, 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 Swad or Za actually so uh, it's completely changed and there are some alphabets in our subcontinent which doesn't exist in uh, Arabic like the Gaf uh, we don't have but we us uh, visually read in Arabic as Ghan uh, as Ghan Gaf Longer. Ma mad. Ma agana anhumaluhu wa ma kasab. Kasab al qala. Kasab. So these are the few mistakes, and uh, I was not even uh, given uh, any uh, training to uh, understand or uh, read uh, in proper tajweed way. We just had uh, always focus on to complete the uh, Quran, just read it as a uh, Urdu newspaper we usually do. So uh, I think th that definitely at the beginning itself went wrong. So t uh, Alhamdulillah, like uh, having understood uh, the importance of the Tajweed now, so it will be uh, beneficial, inshallah, going forward for myself and the others as well, inshallah.
Jazakallahu My name is Shokot Ali and um, I attend Dawa Center. Um, um, here is my local masjid. I am an investment. I am an invest. I am an investment banker, um, and I have little time uh, to myself. But it's been really intriguing coming to this uh, teach uh, teach my tajweed, ilm ilm tajweed um, uh, lessons. So, um, it's been a very good insight to how how the Quran should be read properly and according to the Sunnah. Um, this beautiful Arabic language uh, is in so, so eloquent and beauty is like you know needs to be read in a proper manner and it has uh, op uh, it was an eye opener for me because I mean all this time I was reading the Quran um, although my mother tongue is is not Arabic um, so um, and uh, all this time I wasn't reading it correctly so therefore I believe I mean uh, courses like that I mean um, uh, brings an insight to how one, one should read the Quran with these rules and uh, the, the, the rules of the read in, in, in reading this this correctly and I feel this is a it is very beneficial and I will pursue that in the future to make sure that myself and my future generations uh, uh, to come read this and take this up the correct way Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Manirahim. We'll do that one. Bismillah. So that mm. one's not full mouth. That one's not heavy. So Bismillah. Keep the lam. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay. The two ra's try and yeah. make them a little more heavy. Bismillahirrah. Bismillahirrah. Manirahim. I think we should uh, uh, tackle all sectors. I mean, from the adults, children, institutions, um, and so forth. Because many of the institutions, I mean, teach in Arabic, like madrasas and uh, local mosques. Uh, they either not aware of these uh, tajweed or they not uh, aware of the importance of it. So I think educating ourselves, I mean, the institutions. Um, a local community and bringing the awareness of how important Tajweed is and, uh, and, and, and reading, reading the Quran correctly in its essence. And the question two, improvement we should, um, this is the day of technologies, uh, we should obviously target the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the website, the internet, um, uh, making this education available for uh, you know the general masses. Also, we should have one-to-one -one classes like what we're doing here, when whereby we do stand up and correct ourselves um, and see where we're going wrong in order for us to improve. And I think that you know within that there should be some textbook materials, one-to-one um, um, -one classes. Um, and obviously, like you know, I mean, l learning through the web for those who can't access directly uh, to these classes. Is a Iza Ja Iza Ja Anasrullah Hiwal Fat? Okay, the med a bit longer, so four, two, uh, five, five beats. I think, um, I mean, other than that, that, that is a good focal starting point that we should start here. And, and I think this is a beautiful, um, 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 uh, Ramzan was a beautiful time to start this because lots of people like, you know, either taking time out or like, you know, I mean, to, because the Quran was revealed in the month of Ramadan, people are taking interest. And this is the only reason that I came across, although when we learned, learned the Quran in the early days, we, it was more like, um, I mean, parent fashion learning rather than, I mean, I mean, reading the proper to read um, and I think it's an eye-opener for myself and and, um, and the rest of the group here and now we could on, only could improve on this my name is Mamudu Kamara it is almost, it is the same like Muhammad I'm from Gambia found it very interesting this is my first time to join a group like this to try and learn Tajweed uh, it's not easy no, for an adult that's why it's uh, very important to teach your children at a very early age to understand the Tajweed. Since Arabic is not our language, so we find it difficult, uh, the different sounds of the letters. And I think it's uh, very important if you have face-to-face -face with the Ustaj to teach you. You can also use the YouTube and try to help yourself but I think it will be more effective if we uh, join a class and uh, listen to what the Ustaj is saying. So you can hear it directly from 
because sounds are very similar. They are very, they look and they sound alike. So I think it's important that, that, that uh, you can have someone who can teach you how to pronounce the Quran correctly. And when you, you have someone in your family that can do, that can read the uh, Tajweed correctly, then you are safe. If you, see, if you are reading your Salah and you make mistake, your, your daughter or your son can correct you easily. So at least every family should have someone uh, who is very good in, in, in Tajweed. Alhamdulillah. Now for the exciting news, we want to take this pilot course and present it and do a tour of all of London first and hopefully inshallah all of UK. As we know from experience and from feedback from others that this type of facility is not available usually in most masajids, especially for adults who have never done courses of Tajweed before or may have done but it was very um, unprofessional or very loose and they did not properly learn the science of Tajweed. Therefore we are going to require your participation and help in this project in the following ways. First, if you want us to come to your local masjid, so here's what you need to do. First, get in touch with the community of that masjid and give them our details, which can include you know, our contact details and this video and our channel. And then if they approve, ask them to get in touch with us, but also you yourself get in touch with us and give us a detail of that masjid and inshallah we are going to make contact with them. Secondly, I am looking for help in this project because at the moment I'm mostly a one-man show. So if you have any skills in uh, YouTube content creation, which can include a videographer, video editor, uh, digital marketing, social media expert, or a website designer and uh, maintaining a website, or anything else to do with this project, you don't necessarily need to know Tejweed, you can always learn this later, then please get in touch with myself and if you want to participate in any other way, just uh, drop me a line and contact me and we'll talk inshallah because I will need your help because I want to make this into a community thing where we help each other inshallah. Thirdly, we need funding for this project. As you know, creating these courses does take time, resources and money and at the moment everything I'm spending is out of my own pocket. So there's a link below for a PayPal link. Inshallah, if you want to contribute, everything you do contribute will be considered as Sadaqah Jariya as long as people benefit from it and they themselves turn into teachers and help others. Inshallah. Jazakallahu khairan. And lastly, please share this video with everyone that you think might benefit from it. Like, comment and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. As always, this was a pleasure. This was Ashik from Hilma Tajweed helping you read. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.